Hey guys and welcome to my 30th, I think, video on Accelerator Titanium Mobile uh, development using or with Titanium Studio. And in this video we are going to be looking at the touch event or uh, to, be more to be more precise, the touch end event. The touch end event basically fires when a user touches something, so it's like a mouse click or when you're uh, touching something with an iPod, uh, an iPhone or an Android phone. So we are going to be looking at that and uh, we'll be looking at how to use it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a window. As usual, create window and background color is going to be the usual white. So FFF, -F 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 -F. And then the next thing we want to do is create a view. So tie.ui.create no, create view and inside that we are going to give it a couple of uh, properties or options top is going to be zero and the left is going to be zero so we want it to be at the top left and the height is going to be 150 pixels the width is going to be 100 or 100 percent sorry and the background color is going to be I'll make it black so that it stands out compared to the background color of the window because that's white and actually I'll leave it at that for now. What I'm also going to do is going to be adding an image. So for image equal tie.ui.create image view and in, oops not p and inside that uh, before I add my URL into the image what I need to do is add the image itself into my uh, first project or my project folder. So if I scroll this to the side, not scroll, but move it to the side. Uh, I've got my usual untitled folder which has this Amazon uh, icon inside. Uh, basically if you want to get the exact one or the exact uh, dimension it's 150 pixels, pixels wide and 87 pixels uh, long or height. So the width is 150 and the height is 87. So I am just going to put that inside my uh, resources folder and put it back there we go okay so the image is going to be uh, amazon.jpg it doesn't have to be an amazon icon it could be anything and just to make sure if you have a bigger image like a 300 by 300 blue box or i don't know something like that uh, you can just uh, set the width and the height to be 150 by 87 which i'll just do now but before i'm just going to say the top and left is going to be zero so that's at the top left of my uh, screen and the height is going to be 100, no, 87 and the width is going to be 150 and that's it for now okay the last thing I want to do is add a label for label equals tie.ui.create label label and the text is going to be this is a label and the top is going to be 87 because I want it to be below my image which has a height of 87 pixels. Uh, the left is going to be 0 so it's at the left side of the screen. The height is going to be uh, 63 pixels and the reason why I chose that is because the height of my view is going to be 150 and the height of the image is going to be 87. So I want both the image and the label to be inside a view so 150 minus 87 is 63. <coughs> The width is going to be 100%, and uh, let's change. Let's put the color of my text to be black, and the background color to be I don't know, not white because white is background color of the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the window itself. So let's set it to be E E E, something that's not white but something that's not black, some random color. And for now, that's it. Okay. Before I do anything, I am just going to quickly add both my uh, label image and my label to my view. And I'm going to add the view to window. And I'm going to open my window. Okay, so before I add any functions or event handlers, I'm just going to quickly uh, save my work and uh, open it with my iPhone simulator to see how it looks. Okay, so our app has loaded. I basically have an image at my top left, and then I have this view 
at my uh, top side of the screen which is being half covered by my image so I have this image here I have this view here and basically I have this label uh, going across over here and I have this blank space down there so what I'm going to do now is going to be adding some event handlers into our app so uh, in between adding all the stuff and the, lab the create label one create views and stuff I am going to do image dot add event hand uh, event listener and we are going to be looking at the touch end and for our oops, touch end and for our callback function we are going to be creating a touch handler function I'm just going to call it touch handler it could be anything I could just call it I don't know touch uh, he touched or oh, I don't know anything like that I'm just gonna call it touch handler oops handle touch I'll do handle touch okay and I am going to copy this and paste it three times or two times and I'm going to do that for both my label and my view like so now what we need to do now is create our function so function handle touch and the call it's going to be e and inside that we are going to say the results.txt equals e.source.id plus was uh, touched okay there's going to be two uh, two three things that's going to be confusing first the results.txt and this e.source.id basically what we need to do now is what we want to do is Basically, when we uh, click on our image view or our label, we want it to say that our image was touched or my label was touched or something like that. So what we need to do is give an ID name, ID to each of our uh, view, label and image. So down below, I'm going to say ID is going to be, uh, this is view, so I'm just going to say view. And below my image, I'm going to say ID is image and underneath my label or inside my label I am going to say uh, ID is label okay and the last thing I want to do is create this results.txt and that is really simple that's going to be another label for our results equals oops tie.ui.create label and inside that the original text is going to be uh, touch the image view or label above and it's going to be f uh, I want it to be at the bottom so I want it to be about 25th that can't speak today I want it to be 25 pixels from the bottom the height and the width I'm just going to set it to auto and I want the text to be at the center so text align is uh, center like so okay I think that's it uh, I've done all that and the last thing I want to do is make sure that I add my uh, uh, results to my window like so okay so I am going to save my app.js and run my iPhone simulator again okay so my app has loaded the top part hasn't changed at all it, it still has the image the Amazon icon the view which just has a simple background color of black and this label which has a background color of a light grayish color and at the bottom I have my results text which is which initially says touch the image view or label above and when I click on this see how it changes to image was touched and if I click my or touch my a late a view it says view was touched and if I click on this label it says label was touched now basically this is do, uh, this is because when I click on each of this the touch end event has been fired and it uh, executes the handle touch function which says results.txt is e.source.id which is the id of my view label and image which we uh, which we set and another text at, or a string at the end saying was touched so label was touched view was touched and image was touched really cool uh, if I click on anywhere else apart from these three nothing happens but in my next video we are going to be looking at the touch move event which basically uh, is like this the, the touch end one was we click 
and we let go of our screen. So it's going to be like click down and click up so that the touch event, uh, touch end event was fired. However, we are going to be looking at this touch move event basically, which we click on it and we keep our finger slash mouth down and we uh, move it around. So basically these uh, events are really useful when you want to create apps like uh, Angry Bird, which basically you click on your pig bird, you click on your bird and you uh, you like pull it uh, to your bottom left so and then you let go and that bird move, bird flies up. It basically is using the touch move event. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.